We've talked on the YouTube channel in the past about the Batman, the upcoming, you know, continuation, or I should say probably just the revamp and the soft reboot, I guess you could say, of the Batman, the iconic character, but is it really a reboot? This is kind of a different take from the first trailer that we saw, guys, for the Batman. And what I gotta say, guys, is this looks like something pretty special. I mean, really, from the surface. Now, it's just a trailer. My reaction was that I am incredibly excited about uh, this title. I was very skeptical about Robert Pattinson. I didn't know what I really thought about him playing as, you know, as the Dark Knight. But after watching the trailer, I'm starting to get a little bit more you know, obviously there's a ton of pressure on Robert Pattinson to nail this out of the park. And I got to say, guys, I f I'm starting to feel like, you know, okay, this is this is Batman here. And so obviously it's not Ben Affleck or any of the other, you know, past, you know, actors that, that took the, the job to go ahead and play as the Dark Knight. But I, I got to say that I'm more willing now after watching the trailer to give Robert Pattinson a real chance here. And with that, guys, I want to talk about everything that we know now about the Batman. So let's get into it. In an article, guys, written by Georgina Torbett of Digital Trends, Robert Pattinson brings a dark, messy vision of Bruce Wayne to the Batman. Big news for Batman fans broke as DC shared a first trailer for the upcoming movie, The Batman starring Robert Pattinson in the role. The trailer was shown at DC's online fandom event as part of the Batman panel with director Matt Reeves. From the looks of the trailer, the movie seems to be dark, grimy, and grim, with most of the introduction focusing on a brutal crime scene with scribbled taunts to Batman and blood splattered on the walls. Fans of Westworld will recognize Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon from his role as Bernard, and there are also short glimpses of other characters including Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman and John Tertuo as Carmen Falcone, uh, Gotham's resident mob boss. Now. What I'll say is this, guys, very excited to see Jeffrey Wright uh, play as Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. I think that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to see this vision from Matt Reeves. I, from watching the trailer, guys, Batman's always been a darker story, and that's really been DC as a whole. And I've stated this in the past, guys, one of the big reasons why I really kind of became more of a fan of DC was obviously because I was introduced to Batman was the first superhero I ever was, you know, really introduced to from my parents. But also I just loved the darkness of, of the DC comics versus Marvel. That's more, you know, kind of, uh, you know, brighter and, and, and it has, it, there, even though there's dark elements to the Marvel universe without question, it just felt more of a kid friendly type of universe versus DC. That's always felt more mature. And I love that about DC. I actually really love that just about both of these, you know, different universes because they're both different in their own ways. But the Batman guys feels very, you know, it does feel dark, gritty. It's it, it, There's a, a real feel to it that obviously the Batman has a relationship with Commissioner Gordon right off the bat. You can kind of tell that he's more of a detective, it seems like, in this movie. And that's going to be an interesting concept. Much of the plot revealed in the trailer seems to revolve around the Riddler, played by Paul Dano, who in previous Batman stories has been portrayed most often as a goofy lover of mysteries who is desperate for Batman's attention, but the version of the Riddler in this movie looks to be considerably darker in tone, with him staging brutal murders and taunting Batman to figure out his identity. And so, we get to the Riddler. So the Riddler, guys, I'm very excited to see this, you know, character come back in the Batman universe in, in form of, of, of cinematically. Paul Dano, though, playing as the character, this was another one, guys, that I was not really on board with. Uh, the same thing with Robert Pattinson playing as, you know, the Dark Knight, but then you also have Paul Dano playing the Riddler. I just didn't really feel that it connected. However, Matt Reeves obviously sees something, saw something there, and we now see what, you know, the Batman is with Robert Pattinson's Batman. I'm pretty much on board with that. Let's kind of give it a chance. I'm I'm willing now more th more now than before, guys, to give Paul Dano a chance. I, I, let's just put it that way. After watching this trailer, now, as th for the Batman himself, 
Perhaps the biggest surprise of the trailer is not the new version of the classic dark Batman costume or the sweet turbocharged Batmobile, but Pattinson's take on Bruce Wayne. In contrast to Christian Bale's polished and charming playboy from the Dark Knight trilogy, this version of Wayne looks like a mess, unkempt and shaggy and recalling that emo phase we all went through as teenagers. Other names we can expect to see in the movie include Colin Farrell as classic Batman villain The Penguin, Andy Serkis as Bruce's loyal butler Alfred Pennyworth, Peter Sarsgaard as Gotham District Attorney Gil Coulson, and James Lawson as Gotham City Mayor uh, candidate Bella Real. There have been rumors swirling around since the post credit scene of Justice League that fan favorite villain Deathstroke may make an appearance as well, but there's no confirmation of this so far. So... As far as, as, as the release date is concerned, guys, which we'll talk about here in a minute, um, I, I got to say, the the cast is really stellar overall, guys. And, and the, a lot of the characters that I feel more confidence with, uh, that being like Colin Farrell as the Penguin, I think he's going to knock that out of the park. I think Andy Serkis will do a really good job, even though it kind of felt to me, guys, that Andy Serkis should have been the one playing as the Riddler or as the Penguin, him, some of these roles, I feel like they could have like shifted it around. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I, I'm going to trust the vision of Matt Reeves because of his work that he's done in the past. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. And I'm looking forward to seeing, is the Batman going to tie into like Justice League or is it going to tie into maybe the Dark Knight trilogy, Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy in one way, shape or form? Um, because I've always said this guys, that DC, one of the biggest mistakes they did in my personal opinion is that they, you know, the dark Knight trilogy, when that came out from Christopher Nolan, I felt that at the very end of the dark Knight rises, they could have continued onwards. And really I felt that, you know, Batman begins was, you know, the Iron Man of the DC cinematic universe. It could have really started the entire universe in a major way. They could have had a huge, I mean, a great head start uh, again against that of Marvel, uh, but Marvel just kept on churning out great product, whereas DC was very inconsistent with what they were doing, and it just has felt like a mess at many points in time, as far as the cinematic universe is concerned. This would be interesting to see this, either, I believe, continuing where, what Christopher Nolan started in one way, shape, or form, if they want to kind of re do a, like a reboot once again of the DC cinematic universe, I would be on board with that as well, but I just feel that they there's so much history that they've already established with Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Forget about Batman vs. Superman. Forget about Justice League, even though we're going to, you know, obviously begin the Snyder Cut, which I'm excited about it as well. We'll talk about that later on in the show, but... There's so much here, guys, that uh, DC had started that I think they understand now what they did right, wrong, and what they can do different moving forward, and I'm hoping that we see that here with this version of the Batman. I'm very excited about it, guys. The questions I had, like the Riddler being pulled by, played by Paul Dano, and of course the Batman being played by uh, you know Robert Pattinson... Those were the two biggest question marks to me that I just was really concerned about. And now I'm starting to feel a little bit better, especially about Batman being played by Robert Pattinson. We'll have to kind of wait and see about the rest of these characters once we get further trailers. The movie had originally been slated for release next summer, but it had to be delayed due to the pandemic. The new release date is set for next year on October 1st, 2021. Now, I, I got to say this, guys, that when we talk about the, the pandemic... We have to look at guys that, you know, October 1st, 2021, it was delayed, obviously, for, you know, because of the pandemic, but you got to kind of take this date with like a pinch of salt because they're obviously not finished yet with this movie. They're going back into production. And so my thoughts are that, look, they're going to go ahead and, and they'll get this movie finished probably at some point, whether it's the end of this year or at some point, you know, next year. This date, though, could very well change. And I would love for them to be able to stick with the October 1st, 2021. But don't be surprised if it goes to October um, or, you know, somewhere else in, in 2022. But Anyways, uh, you know, guys, overall, I am very excited about this title, to say the least. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about all the characters and about the trailer at large. Let me know, and let's have a real conversation about it.